coming at you with another video so today honestly I feel like I'm about to do some dumb shit and I feel like it's not gonna work but we gonna try it out anyway I don't have any makeup on right now for this simple reason if you read the description if you read the title then you already know what I'm talking about I made some sugar wax and the way that I made this is honestly I did it wrong I also use granulated pure cane sugar which is regular like white sugar regular shit but um I was like let me be extra and put some brown sugar in it and you know brown sugar has big grains I kind of don't think it's gonna work because of that reason and I didn't know when it was fully cooked because it's supposed to turn brown like the white sugar is supposed to turn brown when it's cooked well when it's done when it's ready and being that this is already brown I just kind of winged it I basically eyeballed some sugar poured it in a pot eyeballed some water poured it in a pot I boiled some lemon juice and poured it in a pot as well. But you're supposed to use a cup of sugar and a fourth cup of water and a fourth cup of lemon juice, which is what I messed up on. I had to keep adding more sugar into it until it got to the consistency that I thought it was okay. And then I poured it into my jar. Did not realize that duh, a glass jar is going to get hot. After I let that cool, this is what it looks like. So it's still movable. Kinda. I was trying to go for the hard wax. We don't know what hard wax is. It's basically when, y'all know, my nails are always jacked up, I know. It's basically when you have the wax and you take some of it. I'm not gonna do it because I don't really care to have the hard wax anymore. I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna just do this. But basically you take it, you take your, your little wax and it becomes like a putty that you can just smooth onto your skin and just rip that off. But it's not that big of a deal because I got an old t-shirt here from my college. I'm going to cut it up into strips and that's what we're going to use. So what am I waxing you ask? My face. Yeah that's right I'm waxing my face okay. I have a beard. I swear to you I have a beard and I have a mustache. Like when I put when I apply my makeup and I'm thinking I'm looking cute. I be seeing peach fuzz all on the sides over here and my mustache. It's just not cute. So we're going to get that situated today. So this doesn't, this just doesn't want to cut today. Okay. Come on now. <laughs> All right, I got it. I'm nervous. <laughs> oh wait, I'm doing it wrong. You're supposed to apply this. If your hairs are growing downwards, you're gonna apply this going upward. I'm trying to really get it in there. I'm not trying to do this a second time. <laughs> Oh yes I did. <laughs> oh there's a lot of hairs in this. Alright it wasn't that bad. It was a little shocking because I never waxed my face before. If you ever got your armpits waxed, it's not as bad as that. Yo! Hairless hair. Y'all see it right? It's darker over here than it is over here. I swear I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad if it did not record all of this. If it recorded the clip before this, and you saw me rip it upwards. Disregard. This is the right way. <sighs> yeah, this is the right way. I can see all of the hair follicles. Okay, yeah, that one, this one wasn't as painful. I don't know why. The first one was hard, but maybe because I, I ripped it off wrong. That's not painful. Over here is like flaking. If you've watched my previous video on how to lay your lace, remember when I said the got to be the, the actual gel as opposed to the spray flakes? That's what I was talking about. Alright, so my final thoughts on this DIY wax is that it's good, it's effective, it doesn't have to be hot. Um, 
when you apply it but you can make it hot if you want but it's not necessary it is messy just like regular wax it's inexpensive you can do it at your house you have the most likely have the, the ingredients to do so and it's kind of fun you know it's not as painful as regular wax either which was oddly actually it wasn't oddly satisfying it was very satisfying just ripping off my own face you know I would recommend doing this why not is at home the trick with sugaring as opposed to regular waxing is that regular waxing they apply the wax going the same direction as your hair and they pull it opposite your hair direction whereas sugaring you apply it the same direction as it no you apply it the opposite direction of your hair and you pull it off the same direction of your hair the difference with that is that it lasts longer because you're also pulling out the hair follicle in time actually it might just stop growing all together because you're constantly pulling out that hair follicle so of course you wouldn't want to do that in areas of your eyebrows where eventually you might want your brows to be bushier because you know brow styles tend to change all the time but me I obviously do not want a freaking beard in the long run so it can go I do not want a mustache in the long run so that can go too that's all I have for this video guys my socials will be somewhere around here don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it informative I feel like I do all of my outros the same I'm gonna keep doing it so <laughs> don't forget to comment like subscribe and share if you thought this was funny and I'm just stupid cuz I'm always trying dumb shit and it worked out so yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye you need me to get that sh together so we can get together. You need me to get that sh together so we can get together.